Hello everybody, I'm back. Um, I just finished flat ironing my roots only. I didn't do anything to the ends, but um, I just put a little bit of moisturizer towards the ends so it wouldn't be so dry, but I didn't flat iron the ends. Um, it's 12.45, so it took me about an hour, like I said earlier. And right now what I'm about to do is um, put some vitamin E oil and the in the edge or in my hairline because it's breaking a lot it's pretty thin I'm gonna part it in and try and let you guys see what I'm talking about um I don't know if y'all can see that but it's you see it's see-through it's pretty thin it's been breaking so what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and apply some of the oil just along the hairline every couple of days. And I'm going to put some rollers in so it'll be curly in the morning. And you can get this oil from anywhere. Um, I actually picked this up from a drugstore. Um, I'm pretty sure they have it in a health food store. Go to the drugstore, the pharmacy of any local drugstore, you should be able to find some sort of um, vitamin E. The capsules are actually better, but I couldn't find it. If you could find the capsules and break them open and put them in your scalp, not on the hair, the scalp, um, you want to put it on your scalp because that's where the hair grows. That's the follicle. Um, if you're growing a plant, you wouldn't put fertilizer on the leaves. You put it down at the roots where the plant grows. So you have to think of your, your head or your scalp the same way. You want your hair to grow, so you have to feed the scalp. Okay, one moment. I try not to put too much. I don't, you don't really want it to be greasy. You just need a little finger full or a little dab and section it off. And then, you know, you go from there. I'm going to do the other side in a moment. And then I'm going to put these, these big rollers in. My rollers have different sizes in there. But, you know, it depends. I'll do that in a minute. Okay, now to the other side. Okay, yeah, you can see it's not straight straight, but that's fine because uh, with rollers anyway, you don't want your hair to be f too flat where you don't have any body to it. So it, it's okay that, you know, it's, a, it's still a little bit puffy back there. I'll be right back. I gotta go get a hair hold. Okay. So, again, I start from the back and put the curlers in. It's pretty much combed out this time. I, I took the time to comb it out while I was blow drying it. Okay. 
I like to go with the ends of the rat's tails comb and take a section, a big section. My hair is not so thick in the back, so that's like a take a, a big enough section. And I think I'm gonna put two medium sized rollers back there. I'm just gonna do one, one. Um, I have a smaller size, but I think one of these will do fine. Make sure you wrap it around tight. Make sure it's smooth, so you won't wake up in the morning. You have dents in your hair. You want it to be smooth. Okay. Put one clip on it on each side. Okay, from here you just move up. Depending on the thickness of your hair, you may be able to part it thicker, or if your hair is really thick, you might have to part it in small sections. And again, try and make sure this comes out um, evenly so you don't have, you know, dents or anything like that in your curls in the morning time. Okay, so I'll put two rows here. Okay, I just want to comb it out to make sure that it's fine. Again, I'll be using the red size. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do this until, of course, I have all the rolls in my head. I'll be right back. I should take about another five to seven minutes, depending, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I finish, okay? Thanks for watching.